They say, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outbind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You've got to execute and you've got to go from 70 to 120. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. If you let people's perception of you dictate your behavior, you will never grow as a person. But if you leave yourself open to experience, despite what others think, then you will learn and grow. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You gotta get it wrong to get it right. No matter how much emotion and feeling you may have or how much hurt you may have, life has to go on. Life doesn't stop mm -hmm. for anybody. So if you don't process that and understand that, you're stuck in whatever time period you got hurt forever. I don't care how good you are in anything, you don't have discipline, you ain't nobody. You're nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day. Even if you have to get down and it hurts and it's hard and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. I will try 100 times to get up and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. If I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. You need to make it a habit to start every f***ing day validating yourself, cheering yes. for yourself, because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. If you're standing in front of that mirror, you deserve to feel the support and empowerment and encouragement that you need. You are doing so much every single day that you don't give yourself credit for. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. Whatever you're going through right now, it's happening on purpose in order to forge you into the person that you were created to be ultimately. But if you quit, you will never get to be the person that you were created to be. Everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting. 
that it will never happen no way under the sun. Every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. Seven billion people need to change the conversation of what success looks like. It is not to make a billion dollars. It is to actually wake up in the morning and be in a good mood. Nobody is perfect. People are gonna tell you you're perfect just the way you are. You're not. You are imperfect. You always will be, but there is a powerful force that designed you that way. And if you're willing to accept that, you will have grace. You gotta have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. It's all in your mind. Whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life. If you continue to believe as you have always believed, you will continue to act as you have always acted. You will continue to get what you have always gotten. If you want different results in your life or your work, all you have to do is change your mind. When you are struggling and you start thinking about giving up, I want you to remember the power of hope. The belief that something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Our hope that if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves, then we can be whatever we dream, regardless of the limitations that others may place on us. The hope that when people see us for who we truly are, maybe, just maybe, they too will be inspired to rise to their best possible selves. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over, make a mistake. That oftentimes cripples people on the onset of getting to, into anything. The first time I ever picked up the DJ decks, it was horrible, horrible now. But I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that feeling. It actually propels me and works quite the opposite. Be yourself, love who you are, and be compassionate. And then give that love and compassion and kindness to everyone around you, and it will always come back to you. Nobody in life is flawless. Nobody is perfect. You know, perfection is, is something that really exists when you're talking about individuals. It's impossible. You can try to be as perfect as you want, but ultimately you're going to come across mistakes. Right. You're going to come across flaws. And I think the real perfection is in, is in perfecting your imperfections. That's how you get to a place where you can ultimately be happy with who you are. I was willing to die doing something that I love. So if you're willing to die to do something that you love, 99% of the time you're going to come out on top. So, just like Kobe Bryant, right. Michael Jordan, Killer Instinct, you know, got to take the shot even if you miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fearless. You got to take the yeah. shot. No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. Don't react against a bad situation. Merge with that situation instead. And the solution will arise from the challenge. Because surrendering yourself doesn't mean giving up. It means acting with responsibility. I think the hardest lesson a young person has to learn in their 20s is um, you are not the main character in everybody's story. Man, life's short. Go harder than you did last year. Mm. Mm. Whatever you thought you did, it wasn't enough. Mm. And enjoy it even more. Believe that. Go harder and find a way to enjoy it. That's when you master the game. Mm.